Today we're gonna cover some interesting news from the world of computer graphics, from Blender updates, software releases, game engines, Autodesk and more. The developers of Blender 3.0 want feedback from users. Blender users can now have a hand at the improvement of the latest updates. One of the Blender developers has published a poll on the Blender's DevTalk forum to ask users for their feedback on the way forward when it comes to the backward compatibility of geometry nodes in the upcoming Blender 3.0, saying that the new geometry nodes workflow presents a challenge to backward compatibility in Blender 3.0, and asking for the user's help can be great for developers to decide how to handle the transition. Autodesk introduces pay-as-you-go licensing. Autodesk has introduced Autodesk Flex, which is a new pay-as-you-go option for companies to purchase tokens for 24-hour usage, usage of software such as AutoCAD, 3ds Max, Revit, Maya, Motion Builder, Mudbox, and many others being used. The companies can just buy tokens, and their occasional users will get to their top products including in the Flex option. Different numbers of tokens are required for 24-hour usage of the software. 3ds Max and Maya require 3 tokens per day. A bundle of 500 tokens, which is the smallest number of tokens that can be purchased, cost $1500, thus $18 per day of use, which means subscriptions remain a much more cost-effective option. But Autodesk Flex is not meant to replace them, it just can be an option for occasional users. Blender 3.0 Release Date Blender is improving constantly, getting more robust and becoming more of an industry tool. Blender developers has finally settled with a final date to release Blender 3.0, and one of the main developers sent an email recently on the 3rd of September 2021 on the old BF Commuters mailing list confirming that Blender 3.0 is decided to be released this December. But the developers deadline to finish their work with updates and merging all the new features and fixing all the bugs they are willing to have as part of this new version must be done before September 22nd, 2021. They also revealed that Blender 3.0 is coming with new features and great functions like the Asset Browser, Cycles Axe, new Geometry Nodes features, UI changes and more. Soft Boolean for Houdini Soft Boolean for Houdini release was announced lately and it was actually one of Houdini's add-ons, but now it got developed to be a separate product and a toolkit that offers a set of tools which is great addition to Houdini itself. The tools give the users the ability to create new geometry by cutting objects and stitching meshes using boolean operations. The users can also add accurate filters to the resulting geometry and the package contains a plugin for Houdini and some additional scripts for Maya as well. Render Stack 2, a render manager for 3ds Max. Render Stack 2 is finally released. The main update was represented supporting the nested pass setup with the P modifier on pass group and instant passes. In other words, they added the modifier on pass group and instance the pass as a new feature. In the previous version of Render Stacks, the pass group was just for visual grouping of passes and it couldn't have P modifiers. Now the users can add P modifiers into pass groups and the modifier will be used including materials by all the nested passes under the pass group. This release took longer than the render stacks community expected, but it mostly will add another dimension to the workflow. Simple Ocean Shader for 3ds Max Recently the latest version of Simple Ocean has been released which is implemented to simulate vector displacements. It helps you to make an ocean easily and quickly. The shader is able to generate the vector displacement map, which is the main along others such as foam maps, above sea maps and more. Simple Ocean can be really useful and time saving, but it still has some bugs currently especially when it comes to animation. Autodesk's new logo Recently Autodesk has announced the release of its new logo as part of the company's development and improvements while the new logo can make their brand distinguishable. One of the Autodesk crew stated that this change is the first among several bold moves they are making to reimagine the Autodesk brand. The new Autodesk logo is remarkable, strong and simple at the same time. And the new logo shape wasn't the only change Autodesk released. They also have made changes to their brand colors from blue to the primary contemporary colors of black and white. 
Smart Camera View release number 2. D5 Design has revealed their latest updates for Smart Camera View to add some tools to the default camera view. This is basically a script for 3ds Max with the purpose of replacing the default camera view with some effective functions that will save you a significant amount of time when setting cameras, especially in scenes with multiple cameras and different aspect ratios. Smart Camera View 2 has come with plenty of new important additional features that mostly relate to selecting and naming cameras. Features such as battery naming multiple cameras with an incrementing number of suffixes, quick select camera in the viewport through camera list, select camera with the same prefix name or ratio, render selected camera in the camera list or viewport, quick change viewport and ratio aspect to the selected camera, in addition to one click render of all cameras in the scene and much more. Unity Art Engine 2021.10 Recently, Unity Technologies has announced that Art Engine has just had its release of version 2021.10. The tool already helps users accelerate their production pipelines, but it got even more improvements with a lot of many long-awaited features that came with it. One of them is Unity Direct Link that helps you output materials directly into Unity projects, and you can modify them in the Art Engine and see the changes immediately in Unity projects. Also with this latest release, a separate plugin for materials is no longer required because you can now have the ability to export materials as Unity Asset Packages has new capabilities to output the node for automating the conversion of regular materials into native Unity ones, as well as the ability to use built-in templates to create your own ones, plus an AI-powered masking node called Feature Selector which allows you to use Feature Selector to break up an image into partial chunks, then choose the ones you want for the project instead of meticulously painting masks by hand and more. Alongside the latest release, Unity has announced that Art Engine has become cheaper and came with a significant reduction in price when it comes to annual licensing as it was $97 and dropped to $19. In fact, this reduction was announced beforehand, but now it is official. And finally, I will leave you with Skyline's VFX Amazing Free Guy Breakdown Reel. I hope you found this video informative. If you have something to add, you can do this in the comment section below. Also, you can check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much and I'll see you in the next one.